uh, starting the session, so uh, we can just uh, do a simple uh, meditation. So please uh, sit in any meditative posture. Any meditative posture, Sudhasana, Vajrasana or any meditative posture comfortable for you. Just concentrate at a point on your front wall parallel to your eye level. Keep the palms on your angle, palm facing upward, back straight, head straight. Just look at the point on your front wall. Just observe for few minutes. Then gently close your eyes. Just to try to recollect the point on the front wall in your mind at the eyebrow center. Slowly bring your awareness at your breathing. Just observe the normal breathing, the inhalation and exhalation. The normal breathing, do not try to manipulate. The cold air going inside, the hot air going out through the nostril, just observe that. We will start the session with Invocation Mandra. Namaskara Mudra. Om Sahana Vavadu Sahano Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinavati Tamas to Mavit Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Let us complete this session together and let us get all the benefit out of this one hour session. Release the mudra. Gently open your eyes. We'll start the session with simple jogging and follow it, followed uh, by just we'll do one exercise for eyes. Then we will go for Surya Namaskara. So after that, we will be doing uh, Vakrasana, two variations in Vakrasana. Then after that, we'll go for meditation. Cyclic, uh, the second part of cyclic meditation. So please come to standing posture, Tadasana. Come to the middle of the mat. Make a loose fist with your hands, both, your, both of both hands, and keep just in front of your chest level. And as I mentioned, in the last class, while counting 1 to 10, you can gently increase, gradually increase the speed from 10 to 10 to 20. You can go with the high speed and from 20 to 30, gradually will decrease the speed. First will be forward jogging with uh, leg raised front and just you can at that time just you can lean backward. The second variation will go for backward jogging in that you will rise the heel backward and at that time you can gen generally lean forward to balance your body and the third variation will be from both sides you can raise your legs to sideways and the speed sequence will be the same so we'll start the jogging so forward jogging you, you can just lean backward to balance your body and start raising your leg as much as possible if it is at the waist level or chest level, that is fine as much as you can. So we'll start. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी स्लो स्लोली रिड्यूस द स्पीड देन वील गो फॉर बैकवर्ड जॉगिंग सो स्टार्ट रेसिंग योर लेग्स बैकवर्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन थर्टी स्लो डाउन नाउ विल गो फॉर साइड जॉगिंग साइड वेज जॉगिंग सो स्टार्ट राइसिंग योर लेग्स साइड वेज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी स्लो डाउन ग्रेजुअली रिड्यूस द स्पीड एंड कम टू Tadasana. If you want to, if you have any tiredness, so just bend forward and keep your keep your both hands on the knees. Bend forward and inhale through the nostril. Exhale forcefully through the mouth. Inhale. Should be like that. So do it for five to six count and let the breathing come to normal. Inhale through nostril. Exhale completely forcefully through your mouth. so when you once you relax come to tadasana keep your legs together hands by the side of the thighs back straight head straight just bring your awareness or concentration at the front wall at a particular point on the front wall just go for two deep breath inhale deeply exhale completely inhale deeply exhale completely just observe the changes in your body you might have warmed up the complete body might have warmed up might be sweating so just observe the changes in your body now next session we will be are doing some exercise for our eyes so we'll be uh, moving our eyeballs from left to right then in the next session up up and down then we'll go for rotation of eyeballs so we'll do it quickly so just look at a point in front of your wall parallel to a parallel to your eye level we'll start moving your eyeball from the extreme left corner to the center then to the extreme right corner at the parallel level of your eye okay we'll start now five rounds so extreme left center extreme right center extreme left slowly bring to the center then extreme right bring your vision to the center extreme left center extreme right center extreme left gently close your eyes now we will go for up and down so just look at the point vertically up maximum extreme up slowly bring your vision to the center point then extreme down five rounds center up center extreme down try to not blink your eyelids during this if you feel like your tears are coming out let it come out so it will release the stress from your eye muscles extreme up slowly bring to the center extreme down extreme up center down 
sender up sender extreme down sender up sender down look at the sender point gently close your eyes gently rub your palm and generate some heat make a cup shape with your hand the palms and just keep it on here don't touch your uh, eyelids uh, eyeballs just transfer the heat from your palms to the eye muscles one hold the position two three four five please your hands and relax now we will go for eyeball rotation so from from the top corner to the right corner then down left like that and clockwise direction we will go for first open your eyes start rotating your eyeballs in clockwise direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 generally close your eyes now we will do the same thing in the opposite direction anti clockwise direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 generally close your eyes generate some heat with your palms just gently touch the lower fleshy part of your palm on the eyeballs don't press the eyeballs gently transfer the heat from the lower part of the palm the fleshy part on the eyeballs with both, both of your hands if heat is not enough just rub the palms once again and generate some more heat and just keep it on your eyeballs do not press the eyeballs gently touch One, two, three, four, five. Release your hands. Relax. Now we'll go for Surya Namaskara. Three sets. Come to the front of the mat. Tadasana. Namaskara Mudra. begin to run spara now inhale hasta uttanasana begin three rounds
once you complete the surya namaskara three rounds come to tadasana then to sitila tadasana relax your hands relax your legs just observe the changes in your body the entire muscles might have stimulated and relaxed just observe your breath and just observe the changes in your complete body look at the particular point at the front wall we'll go for two deep breaths inhale deeply and bulge your abdomen exhale completely and collapse your abdomen completely inhale deeply exhale completely now in the next 20 minutes we will be practicing vakrasana vakrasana means twisting the spine twisting posture so the benefit the main benefit is your spine spine will be flexible and the uh, nerves related to the spines will be more uh, will get more benefit and it will be then uh, beneficial for the abdominal abdominal organs and if you have any uh, digest digestive problem it will uh, reduce by doing this vakrasana so we will start practicing vakrasana before that come to uh, dandasana in sitting posture before starting uh, vakrasana we'll do one angle stretch stretch your calf muscles thigh muscles and the uh, ankle joints so stretch your uh, legs forward yeah now come to dandasana hands by the side of the thighs legs together the big toes touching each other now as you inhale try to flex the big toes towards you okay as you exhale try try to stretch out the big toes outside so we'll do this for five rounds so as you inhale stretch in exhale stretch out 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 now release the uh, legs and relax for some time and we will practice the same thing one more time with the legs around 1 feet apart so at uh, 1 feet apart and raise your ankle from the ground around 2 inches above 2 inches above just lift your ankle ankle and calf muscle from the ground so we'll free, feel the stretch on the thigh muscles and calf muscles and ankle, ankle muscles so it will it will flex your uh, thigh muscles and calf muscles so to make it flexible so we'll practice once again the same posture with uh lifted legs and just keep the legs the toes around 1 feet apart or 6 inches apart and you can uh, support your, uh, your balance your uh, upper body with your uh, hands okay sit straight head straight now lift the angle 1 to 2 inches above the mat and as you inhale stretch in exhale stretch out the toes inhale stretch in exhale stretch out inhale stretch in exhale stretch out the toes inhale stretch in exhale stretch out 
last round inhale stretch in hold the position hold the posture for one minute for five one two three exhale stretch out hold the position one two three four five make your uh, angle down and relax in tadasana then to come to sitila Dandasana. You can keep your hands behind and just lean backward. And if it if it is comfortable, you can just hang your head to the backside. Relax in Siddhila Dandasana. Just observe the changes in the calf muscles, thigh muscles, knee, kneecap, ankle joints. Just observe that. Now we will go for Vakrasana practice. Gently come to Dandasana. Keep the legs together. Palms, both palms beside your thighs, sides of your thighs. And as you inhale, bend the knees, the bend the knees of the right, right leg, and keep it, keep the foot near to the left knee. And by the time you can balance your upper part of the body by keeping your right hand behind your body, pointing and keep the palms on the ground, pointing the fingers backward. So you can just support your uh, upper body with the right hand. So now while inhaling, just bring your left and straight up, straight up, inhale deeply. While exhaling, try to catch all your right big toes by bringing the left hand right through right side of your right leg. Yes, correct. Try to catch all the big toes of the right leg or you can hold at the shim. So whichever is possible, you can try that. So now you can just twist your waist towards the right one. Now look at the right shoulder, make the both shoulders parallel to the right wall and try to look at the right shoulder. Hold the position for five counts. One, two, Three normal breathing, normal breathing, four, five. Release the left hand from the right leg. As you inhale, bring it up, then release the, yeah, come to bring the left hand on the ground, release the legs. Release the right leg and relax in Sitila. Dandasana. This is one round and we'll, we will repeat the same posture, same asana from the opposite side. The complementary posture is from the left side. So I hope all of you are doing it correctly. I can, I think I can see only Nidu on the video. So if you have any difficulty in this posture, just let me know. So as you inhale, as you inhale, try to bring up your hands as much as possible in the vertical position. So exhale, exhale completely, collapse your abdomen so that you can just twist your abdomen completely uh, towards the right side. If you're doing the opposite way, just while exhaling, try to twist your uh, waist towards the right or uh, left one so that you can uh, hold the shim or uh, the big toes easily. So just keep that in mind. So we'll, uh, we'll try to do it from the left side. So come to Dandasana, hands by the side of the thighs, legs stretch forward, legs together. Now bend the left leg at the knee and keep the foot near to the right knee. Now you can support or you can balance your upper body 
by keeping your left hand behind you fingers pointing backward so you'll have a support from the left hand now as you inhale try to bring your right hand up as you inhale try to bring your right hand up as you exhale try to catch the big toes of the right leg or shim and twist towards the left wall twist your waist towards the left wall and try to make both shoulders parallel to the left wall and try to look at the left shoulder normal breathing do not hold the breathing just go for normal breathing five counts 1 2 3 4 five release the right hand from the left leg inhale stretch up then to the out now release the left leg release the left hand so this is one stretch so we will try to do it once again with the uh, same posture without uh, any difficulty because while while you inhale try to bulge your abdomen completely while you exhale completely collapse your abdomen so that you can twist uh, the waist uh, perfectly so we will try to do it once again with uh, one variation in while holding uh, while bringing while uh, bringing your uh, right hand In the first position, by bringing your right hand, you can hug uh, the bended knees, hug the bended knees instead of catch, uh, catching the big toes. So it will be a bit easy to uh, perform the asana. Okay, we'll uh, try that. The one variation. So come to the dandasana. Sit straight, back straight, head straight. Now bend the right leg at the knee. keep the right foot near to the left knee support the upper body part by keeping the right hand behind you yeah as you inhale bring the left hand above the head inhale completely as you exhale bring the hands down towards the right knee and try to hold or hug the right knee with your left hand and now twist the waist towards the right wall and twist try to make the both shoulders parallel to the right wall and look at the right shoulder now we'll go for normal breathing five counts 1 2 3 4 Five. Release the left hand from the right knee. Release the right leg. Release the right hand. Relax in Siddhila Dandasana. Just you can shake your legs. Now we will go for the complementary posture from the. left side come to dandasana sit straight back straight head straight look forward bend the right uh, left leg at the knee keep the left foot near to the right knee support the upper part of the body by keeping the left hand behind you fingers pointing backward now as you inhale as you inhale inhale bring the right hand above the head so as you exhale try to hug the left knee with the right hand and try and twist the waist towards the left wall and make the make both shoulders parallel to the left wall now look at the left shoulder five counts normal breathing 
two, three, four, five. Release your right hand from the left leg. Release your left leg. Release your left hand. Come to Sitila Dandasana. Relax yourself. Relax in Sitila Dandasana. Shake your legs. Relax. Now, Generally, you can come to Vajrasana. Now, in the next uh, 20 minutes, you will be uh, doing cyclic meditation, second part. In the last uh, class, we have done the first part of the cyclic meditation. So there are three parts in the cy complete uh, cyclic meditation. The one hour cyclic meditation has three parts. So first part will be instant relaxation technique in the supine posture that we did in the last class. So this class will be going for the second part of cyclic meditation that will be in the standing posture. And in the third part, it will be in the sitting posture that you will do if I get an opportunity that I can do on the next class. So in this class, we will be uh, practicing the uh, cyclic meditation second part in the standing postures. So as you uh, regarding the cyclic meditation, cyclic meditation helps you to relax, stimulate your complete body parts and relax it in as much as possible so that uh, uh, once you complete the one hour complete uh, cyclic meditation, your stress level or uh, uh, the heartbeat will be dramatically reduced so that will be uh, the, and your stress and you feel uh, completely relaxed after completing the one cycle one complete cycle of uh, cyclic meditation so at a short if i get an opportunity you will go for that also so now we'll go for the second uh, part from the standing postures so while doing the cyclic uh, meditation complete session will be uh, with eyes closed okay so and try to do it as slow as possible so uh, in the cyclic meditation uh, second part we will be in this uh, standing posture we'll be doing centering uh, that is like just i'll explain how it will how it will go the complete session how it will go in uh, in a quick view so in uh, Tadasana, we'll lean forward a little bit, not completely, lean forward a little bit and we'll concentrate our complete weight on the big toes. Then we'll come back, then we'll lean backward a little bit and we'll concentrate our complete weight of the body on the angle, back side of your uh, feet. Then we'll come to center, then we'll lean sideways, right side, and then to the left side, then to the center. That is uh, one section. After that, we will be doing Ardhagadi Chakrasana in slow motion. It's as much as slow as you can do, that much benefit you will get. So while doing Ardhagadi Chakrasana, you will start rising your right hand. If you are doing from the right hand, you start rising your right hand as low as possible, like you are like you're lifting a mountain. You can just lift your hands very slowly so once you reach 90 degree you can just turn your palms up then you can continue the practice towards the towards the hands reach in the vertical position so from there we will lean uh, to the left side then you'll come back again then slowly we'll bring back the hands in the to the down so that is uh, one uh, stimulation when then we will practice from the left side we will balance from the left side then after that we'll go for uh, shavasana and we will meditate for uh, five minutes and after that complete one uh, five minute silence that is the uh, overview of uh, cycling med meditation second part so please come to the standing posture tadasana so close your eyes can stand at the center of the mat. Close your eyes. 
back straight, head straight. Legs together, big toes touch, touching each other. Hands by the side of the thighs. Now, we will gently go for one, uh, two rounds of Brahmari. Nakara, while exhaling out, just produce the Nakara. Okay. So inhale deeply, bulge your abdomen. Once again, inhale deeply. Just observe the vibration of primary at your 3D awareness at your head region, at your complete body. Just observe the vibration for a few seconds. Just observe from the tip of your big toes to the tip of your head, just observe the vibration of Ankara. Now, we will slowly lean forward, a complete body, you can just slowly lean forward and concentrate your full weight of the body on the big toes. Toe is a point, that is called pointed awareness. Now slowly come to center, slowly come to center. Now slowly lean backward, not too much, slightly lean backward and concentrate your complete weight on the heel. Heel is a surface, surface awareness. Come to center. Now we lean to right side. Slightly lean to right side. The complete weight of the body concentrated at the right side of the right foot. It's a linear point, linear awareness. Slowly bring to center, bring your body to center slowly and slightly lean to left side. The complete weight of the body is concentrated at the left side of the left foot. Linear awareness, slowly come to center. Tadasana, just relaxing Tadasana. Do not try to open your eyes. The complete session, the first complete session will be in closed eyes condition. Now just observe the balance on your feet. The complete weight of the body is concentrated on the on the foots. Now we'll go for the first set of stimulation by doing Arthakati Chakrasana. So, straighten your fingers downwards, right side. We'll start from the right side. The fingers straighten towards down and slowly start raising your right hand towards the right side. Slowly raise your hands. As slow as you can do, that much benefit you will get out of this stimulation. So, slowly bring. Once you reach 30 degree, 40 to 5 degree, slowly rise as if you are lifting a mountain, you will feel the tingling sensation at your shoulders. So once you reach 90 degree, the, the right hand parallel to the ground, slightly rotate your wrist and make the palms face upward. Make the palms facing upward. Slowly start raising. Continue the practice. 135 degree. 
then slowly 160 degree then 180 degree vertically upward biceps in contact with your right ears now slightly stretch up your complete right side of the body stretch up slightly inhale and stretch up now slowly we will just bend towards the left side your waist is going towards the right wall and your right hand bending towards the left wall make the left hands hanging freely and the left hands going down and down freely and right hand going towards the left wall so at this position your complete left part of the left part is completely stretched and your right uh, part is completely stretched slowly come back slowly you can come to the vertical position slowly come back once you reach 180 degree you can stretch up pull up inhale completely and pull up your left, left right side of the body completely and slowly start bringing the hands down and down 160 degree you can feel the flow of blood from the tip of your fingers towards the uh, shoulder just feel the flow of blood and slowly bring it down 135 degree then 90 degree once the hands reach to 90 degree rotate your wrist and make the palms facing towards down just rotate your wrist and make the palms facing down and continue bringing the hands down and down now you might feel the tingling and tickling sensation at your shoulder slowly bring down 60 degree again slowly bring to 45 degree 30 degree now towards the zero degree your right hand is hanging freely now feel feel the lightness at your complete right side of the body you might feel the right side is completely relaxed and feel the lightness just observe the light uh, lightness at the right side of the body completely now we will balance uh, the stimulation from the left side of the body so slowly stretch out the fingers the left fingers downwards and slowly slowly st start raising your left hand slowly centimeters by centimeters you can start raising your left hand Thirty five degree, slowly forty five degree. Just feel the flow of blood from the shoulders towards the tip of your fingers. Just observe that and the tingling and the clean sensation at your shoulder. Once you reach ninety degree parallel to the ground, just rotate your wrist and bring the palm facing upward. the palms are facing upward now stretch the fingers out and slowly continue the practice 180 degree 160 degree slowly bring it to the vertical position once you reach 180 degree bicep in contact with the left ear stretch up pull up your complete left part of the body stretch up completely and slowly bend towards right side your right hand is hanging freely and moving downwards 
left and he is moving towards the right order. Now the complete left side of the body is completely stretched and right side of the body is completely compressed. Just feel that once you complete the maximum limit, come back to vertical position, slowly bring back your left hand to the vertical position. Stretch up, pull up the complete left side of the body. Just feel the lightness and try to bring the left hand down and down, centimeters by centimeters. You might feel the tickling and tingling sensation at the shoulder. The blood is flowing from the tip of your fingers towards the shoulder. Just feel that and slowly bring the left hand down and down, 160 degree. So once you reach 90 degree parallel to the ground, just rotate the wrist and bring the palms facing downward. Slowly continue the practice. Slowly bring the hands down and down. 60 degree. Forty five degree slowly being down. Let the moment be very slow. Once you completed the moment, let the left hand hang freely and right hand hang freely. Just feel the lightness of stimulation and relaxation at the left side of the body completely. Just observe the lightness at the left, left side and right side of your body completely. Just feel the lightness. Let all the moments be very slow. Let the eyes be closed. Slowly come to sitting position. Slowly come to sitting position. Any sitting position, slow you can come to sitting position. Then dasana. Let all the moment be very slow. Come to dandasana. Then relax in sitila dandasana. You can just lean backward with the support your support of your both hands. And if you're comfortable, you can just hang your heads backward and relax. Just relax. Once you relax slowly with the support of your elbows, come to Shavasana. Slowly come to Shavasana. Keep the legs apart, hands apart, palms facing the sky. Relax your complete body. Just bring your awareness at your abdomen. As you inhale, just observe the normal breathing. As you inhale, just observe the moment at the abdomen. Abdomen may be rising up, collapsing down. Do not try to manipulate the movements. Just observe the normal breathing. For a few seconds. Just observe the flow of air through your nostril towards your lungs. Just observe the movement. अच्छे विचारों के साथ श्वास ले श्वास छोड़ें। Let all the thinking be positive. Now, as you inhale, just 
bulge your abdomen completely as you exhale collapse your abdomen completely inhale deeply exhale completely keep a beautiful smile on your face let all the thinking be positive inhale deeply exhale completely inhale deeply exhale completely inhale deeply exhale completely now just observe the lightness of your body completely completely drain your weight on the mat relax your toes completely relax your soles of the feet completely on the mat relax your ankle joints completely on the mat let all the weight of the foot completely resting on the mat bring your awareness towards the calf muscles knee cap thigh muscles pelvic region waist region relax the complete lower part of the body on the mat relax completely relax and relax now slowly bring your awareness at your abdomen relax the abdomen relax the lower back relax your middle back relax your upper back relax your spine completely on the mat let all the weight of the back spine completely resting on the mat relax your ribs region completely on the mat inhale deeply and expand your chest bring your awareness towards the fingertips relax your fingertips relax your palms relax your wrist relax your forearm relax your elbows relax your biceps and triceps relax your hands completely on the mat drain all the weight of the hands completely on the mat and feel the lightness relax the shoulder muscles relax the neck relax the head region completely keep a beautiful smile on your face and relax your facial muscles relax your nostrils relax your eyeballs relax your forehead relax the head region completely at the weight of the complete head region resting relaxing on the mat now we will go for akara ukara makara chanting together two times inhale deeply and bulge your abdomen uh Once again, uh, just feel the vibration of Akara, Akara, Makara at your complete body, 
and relax the body completely on the mat. Now gently bring your awareness out of the body, just above your chest region. Gently bring your awareness and just observe the body from outside. Gently bring your awareness towards the ceiling, then to the sky. Expand your body with your mind along with awareness. Expand up to the sky. Relax. Relax and relax. Once you merge with the sky, Relax completely. Slowly bring your awareness back to the body. Slowly relax. Bring your awareness from the sky to the roof. Then just above the chest. And just bring the awareness to the body consciousness. Gently aware the lightness and the relaxation at your body parts. Gently move your toes. 
gently move your fingers then bring your legs together hands by the side of the thighs as you wish to rotate right or left then come to dandasana slowly come to dandasana let it be very slow from dandasana sit in any meditative posture sukhasana vajrasana padmasana whichever you like just sit in any meditative posture let the eyes are closed back straight head straight namaskar mudra let's end the session with ending prayer namaskar mudra om sarve bhavan dinah sarve sandu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyandu ma kasche dukha bhag bhave om shanti 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 gently stretch your hands and generate some heat Just apply it on your face, your eye muscles, eye lips. Just keep the palms in front of your face and gently open your eyes to the palms. Good evening. Have a nice evening ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Shikhi. Thank you. Thank you.